What's going on, y'all? This your boy Ben Samson. About to head to this old dentist. Get this gold tooth replaced. This right here, I had to get the uh had to get a crown on it because I had to get some work done on it. Now my crown is ready, I can go pick it up. That's how you're actually supposed to get your dental work where your gold teeth done, man. Go get them taken off and get them clean. And then put back on. Alright, we back to them cloudy days, man. Back to them cloudy days. Well, not too cloudy. I mean, it's about to be summertime, so... I'm gonna take the Dodge today, man. I ain't rode my... I ain't rode my Dodge on my Chevy in a while, so I'm gonna take the Dodge today. Not like I got a lot of cars or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But it's only my Dodge Charger, man. And it ain't no new Dodge Charger either, man. It's the same one I've been had, my 2007. But it's paid for. Yes, sir. That joint paid for. I ain't got to worry about no payments, bro. Got to worry about no payments. We good. I actually took the dodge right now, too, cuz. Glad I took the dodge, too, because. Hey, I'm a charger in the other one. Being in my phone charger. I always use my little portable charger thing right here. Charge it up. Right. Man, I hate going to the dentist late, man. Well, I mean, I'm not really late right now. But I always like to be at least 15 to 30. 15 to 30, uh minutes early. My car so ashy right now, man. I ain't drove this joint in a while, man. We have been riding in the Jeep. She running kind of weird right now. I ain't shit, man. It's been, been at least like a month, seem like. I ain't been in this thing for like a month. Oh, somebody moving. They did it right too, cause the people came and packed this shit up. When we get ready to move too, when we get ready to move like that, that's what we gonna have our shit like that too. When they come in and pack your shit up and everything, you ain't got to worry about it. That's what I want. I don't want to have to touch nothing, man. When we moved over here to this little small apartment, man, after we had got, when we was looking for a house and we had to move back into an apartment, bro, it was me and my wife, bro, that was it. Me and her, right before she got pregnant, we moved into that house by ourselves, bro, and that shit was hard than a motherfucker. I mean, we got this big ass adjustable bed and all this other shit, bro, that shit was hard. It was hard as fuck. I wouldn't wish that on no couple without no help. But yeah, man, I'm about to head over here and get my um my crown put on. As y'all can see, I got I got six goals at the top, permanent. So. So six goals at the top permanent. So when you got the uh you got the little thing, so when they took the goal off, you know, they cut the other goal off and then they put this little temporary crown on. Right there. The little temporary crown right here. So now I'm finna go get my gold put back on. 
See, a lot of people that wear gold teeth or that rock golds or whatever, see, they don't do this, man. They put the gold teeth in their mouth and that be it. They don't floss. Or even if they wear a grill, they don't, they don't take the grill off and floss in between their teeth. A lot of niggas got bad, a lot of niggas got bad hygiene, man. Cause people be thinking, oh, gold teeth make your, te make your breath stink. No, it don't. No, it don't. A lot of people, gold was one of the crowns that they used to replace all the teeth with back in the days. That was one of the, because the gum didn't pull away from the gold. That's why they always use gold before they would use the porcelain crowns or anything else. And it was a little stronger than the, the stuff that they used to use back in the days. And that silver stuff, your gum would be receding away from, your gum would recede away from the tooth if it had that silver stuff on it. So that's why they use gold. They even plated, they even started to plate the gold up under the porcelain just so that it would fit better or just so that the gum would take to it better so but um but yeah I'm finna head over here and get this thing replaced man get my gold tooth back on man I, I don't feel complete with my gold off man I done had gold I done had gold teeth man since ninth grade I'm 39 years old man so since ninth grade, I done had gold teeth. The summer, going into the ninth grade, that was back in 93. They ain't have pull-outs, they ain't have pull-outs back in 93. Cause if they would've had pull-outs back in 93, I probably would've got a pull-out and still getting uh, permanent goals, but yeah, man. like it's a pretty nice day today but everywhere in the south man they burning up man i know you guys are hot down there man but today it's like 60 maybe like 62 degrees look cloudy but y'all ain't gotta worry about this damn rain all the time though y'all ain't gotta worry about that rain i gotta get this old car washed too of a zombie on the back of his truck. Shit. Get your old zombie on the back of his truck, man. I hate going to this joint when I can't eat. That's the only thing. If I can't eat, then I don't like going because right after then, you know, after they put all that work into your mouth, then you can't eat.
right, y'all. I'll see y'all when I get out. All right, fam. What's happening? And I'm back from the dentist, man. Fresh out the dentist. You see the uh, you see the joint that been replaced. You can kind of tell that uh, the other one look newer right here. This crown right here look newer. So it's kind of it's time to polish this one up so it can get the shine back right. But yeah, man, just got out the dentist. Just left Comfort Dental out here in Washington. Your boy got a smile back, y'all. The boy ain't got a smile back, y'all. The boy ain't got a smile back. Oh Lord, check him out, check him out, check him out. Check him out. He done got his smile back, everybody. Check him out. Check him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. But yeah, fam, your boy just went to old Dennis. Now it's time to head to over here and get this old car wash. And I ain't drove this car so long, so time to get this old car wash. Got little chips and all kinds of pieces in my beard and stuff, man. You know how the dentists do when they get them impressions. They put them impressions and stuff in your mouth, and you know you have all that white stuff all in your beard, man. That's alright. Got a whole bunch of uh Russian girls over here, man. From the Ukraine and Russia and Moscow and stuff like that. I wanted to go up here to this uh, Home Depot to try to get something for my studio. But all this traffic that made me want to just go home. Just wait. Just to get my crowns replaced or whatever, but I done got hungry and we ended up doing another crown on the bottom in the back. So I'm all numb and stuff, man. Jaw feeling all big. Then I got a temporary, I got a temporary crown on there now. So they telling me I can't chew no gum or nothing like that. So back messed up, man. Your boy wanted some old Popeyes or something, man. Want some Popeyes. Get over here and see. If I can get at this old Home Depot right here. Oh, this dude just don't walk out here in front of this car. Pulling up to the old Home Depot. See, can I get something to fix this old studio noise, man? I got some noise coming out my speakers, out my studio monitors, the computer noise. It's like a high-frequency buzz noise, some hum shit. I don't know exactly what it is, but when I'm, as I've been researching it, though, they've been telling me it might be a, uh, like, it might be a grounding issue. Something where something, something's not grounded in the wall or something, and then it makes, the, it makes that noise. Well, I ain't finna go in the wall and try to touch no outlets or no stuff like that, bro. I ain't even with it. They can have that. I'd rather do the little quick issue. Either do the little quick issue or just go on and have a sound or something, man. Cause I ain't finna mess with my life, you know, for no sound. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing, man. And I had to pick up these little things right here, man, that turn you because I got grounding issues, I think, inside of the wall for the studio little area that I got. I be hearing this buzzing noise and stuff. And I'll let you guys hear that buzzing noise inside of the studio and let you know what that sound like just in case you got problems too. But I mean, they said it's supposed to fix the issue. I don't think so. I don't have faith in it though. It's taking a ground plug into a uh it's taking a ground plug and putting it into a one of the uh 
Hold on one second, y'all. You know, black people, you got to slow down and move back up. I don't want to hit none of these uh, elderly people out here. But yeah, you know, when you take a, uh, a grounded plug and you, turn, you change that into a, well, a balance to unbalance or grounded to an ungrounded plug. And grounded is just that third hole. See that third hole, that's the grounded plug that you'll actually stick in on that side. And you'll change that grounded plug into a ungrounded. So you go back in the wall with that one right there and make it ungrounded. And hopefully that, you know, kills some of that noise or whatever. Because inside of our apartment, somewhere, somewhere in there we got an ungrounded uh, thing in the wall or whatever. And it's causing all these problems. So hopefully that fix the issue. Man, I was supposed to go to the mall today, man. Get me a pair of shoes or something, man. But I don't even feel like going, to be honest. With just so much traffic out here. I just feel like heading to the house. And I wanted to get my car washed. But it seemed like it's about to rain. So then I wanted to go to Guitar Center. You know what I'm saying? To get something. The guitar center, I just don't feel like going no more. I feel like going home and getting on the game. And since I've already been out since like one, I feel like going home, getting on the game, and playing with my son. Hop on this Fortnite. I think that's what I'm going to do, though. Well, that was it. <laughs> the car wash. 
And that's how we, we hey, shit, that's how we get our cars washed out here in uh, Washington so far. Cause man, it be raining out here so much. You don't be knowing what the fuck gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even gonna drop mine off. I'm just gonna go and take off with it. Man, this thing, my car need a paint job and all kinds, all kinds of stuff, man. The paint job and everything, bro. So that's why I don't even worry about it right now. I need to throw some wax on it or something. tired of riding foes. I went ahead and upgraded and got the uh, the spindles, the longer spindles for the front. Because the 26 is going to go right on the back with a 25 series tire. So, we know I ain't got the spindles for the front. I might go on and throw them on there, but I don't know, man. It seems like, man, that I'm getting older, it's like I don't really, I don't really care about a lot of things that I used to care about back in the days man like I don't really care about riding rims too much no more man I don't know why I don't know I just, might just be me getting older but I don't really care about that man I'm more, I'm more so I more so care about family you know what I'm saying making your family straight and once the family's straight, I'm straight. And making sure I got money in the bank for the kids, college, what the college is paid for. It's already seen about for them or whatever, but long as they straight, man, I'm good. But I still wanna be successful though. You know what I'm saying? At something. I wanna I wanna be successful at you know, I, I love music, man. I love doing the video thing, man. I love that beer thing, man. We love doing the, uh, we got our business going with the shirts and everything. I mean, I love doing that stuff, man. You know, I, I, I would even do it if I wouldn't even get paid for it. Actually, my music, my music and my little videography stuff, I'm not getting paid for. So I just do it because I love it. Coming up, they said, find something that you love or do something that you love and you'll never work a day in your life. And I feel that. I mean, I, I really feel that. But don't be stupid about it because you still got to learn how to monetize it, though. You still got to learn how to monetize what you love, though. And that's real. Now, I got a question for you. Ever work for McDonald's? Alright, thank you. Would you ever work for McDonald's if you had to? Like if that was a way that you could make ends meet, would you work for McDonald's? Or do y'all got too much pride? I would if I had to. If that was like one of the only ways that I could make the ends meet, I would. I mean, y'all might laugh at your boy or whatever, man, but it ain't about it. As long as you go home and your family's straight at the end of the day. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. All right. go home at the end of the day and your family straight I feel like it shouldn't matter man I feel like you should do whatever you have to do just gotta go get it man no excuses no excuses man Got to get it. Do you think you 
would still be called a hustler if you had to go to McDonald's and work? Is that is that one of the definitions of hustling? If you had to go and do a legal thing, or is hustling just for doing illegal type stuff? You know, have y'all ever thought of that? I had to, matter of fact, when I was younger, I worked at, uh, my first job was at Hardy's. Yep, one of my first jobs was at Hardy's. Besides working in a factory, man, one of them hard ass factories where you're slinging all them damn uh, magazines and stuff. I did not like that, bro. Like slanging on magazines and then what make it so bad it was like it was overnight so the body you know when you first coming up the body is not accustomed or it's not acclimatized to doing an overnight shift man you got to teach yourself to do that you really do and that's what it was it was an overnight shift it was hard to stay up bro i would get up I would get up about nine o'clock. Get up like nine to be there at 11. And we work from 11 to seven every morning. I wear every night. Tossing magazines all night. Strapping them in, making sure they like them Spiegel magazine. I don't know if you know what the Spiegel is, but them Spiegel and Macy's and all that other stuff. We would do that all night. Man, this dude be out here kicking this little ball all day. He be out here all day practicing. Every day, all day. He love that shit. Well, yeah, man, it's your boy Beard Sampson. I just wanted to, you know, ride with you guys, man, over here to get these old gold teeth seen about, man, back shining. Look out for that beard video coming out real soon, man. I'm, I'm about to trim this thing down, man. My baby, she she ain't too fond of the beard right now, man. The beard be all in her face. She be trying to suck on it and all, ki all kinds of shit, man. So I want to get that out of her face and everything, man. So look out for that beard video, Beard Sampson. All right, family, we all...